Woman faints at 10,000 meters. The next second, her body starts to slide downward. Although the woman was awakened at the first moment, but it was too late. When the woman opened her eyes, she realized she was hanging upside down in the air. She instinctively grabbed the rope. She realized that she was hanging from a height of 10,000 meters. She desperately called for help from her companion in the basket. James! But the man had already passed out due to lack of oxygen. He was unable to offer any help at all. The woman knew she could only rely on herself, so she began to swing her legs. She approaches the basket little by little, and by the force of inertia, she finally reached the edge of the basket. With all her strength, she managed to get in, but by now, her companion was already dying. We must save him as soon as possible. But by now, the balloon was already 10,000 meters in the air. The surface of the balloon is also covered with ice crystals. The exhaust valve is also frozen. It's impossible to open it properly. This also means, if they don't release the air soon, the balloon will continue to rise until it explodes. So the woman made a bold decision. She would risk death by falling by climbing to the top of the balloon herself to deflate the balloon manually. With her experience, the woman quickly reached the edge of the balloon. But next, she is faced with the frosty surface of the balloon, and the woman's hands are already frostbitten. She has to be very careful, otherwise, she'll be crushed to pieces. And just as she was about to grab the rope, she was about to grab the rope. Because of the lack of oxygen, she was about to fall asleep at 10,000 meters. But then she saw the basket, thinking of her companions who are still alive inside. The woman instantly woke up. Then she tried her best to adjust her body. Finally regained her grip on the rope. She struggled to get her body right. She tied the rope around her waist to prevent her from falling. She climbed up again on the surface of the balloon. The balloon is still rising. She doesn't have much time left. After all the hard work, the woman finally reaches the top of the balloon. She reaches the top of the balloon, but just when she thought she could open the valve to save her life. But then she realizes that the ice on the valve is too thick. Even when she was hit by her elbow, it didn't budge. The woman was at a loss, but thinking of her companions below, whose lives were uncertain. She made a bold decision. She stood up at the height of 10,000 meters. Then she stepped on the air valve, although she was almost blown down, but she was able to open the valve. In order to prevent the valve from freezing again, the woman left her shoes up there. When the woman returned to the basket, the balloon began to descend slowly. The unconscious companion woke up at that moment, but before they could rejoice, the woman suddenly realized the snowflakes were falling slower and slower, and even started to fly upwards. The women realized that once, it was the hot air balloon they were traveling in that was falling fast, and it's falling much faster than the snowflakes. She hurriedly pulled on the rope of the exhaust valve and tried to shake off her shoes to slow down the balloon's descent, but she accidentally used too much force and yanked the valve completely open, accelerating the balloon's descent. If they fall like this, the two of them will surely turn into a puddle of mud. Now they can only reduce the weight as much as possible. So they threw the contents of the basket desperately throughout the outside. They even took off their clothes and threw them away. But that didn't slow down the balloon's descent. They were about to be crushed to pieces. But the man looked at the hanging basket under his feet. In his heart, he had a bold idea. He first asked the woman to climb up to the iron ring on top. Then he took out a dagger because he wanted to cut the heaviest basket. As the ropes were cut one by one, the basket was finally free of the balloon. But because of the terror, the speed of the balloon's descent didn't slow down much. The two men were about to die. The woman suddenly stood on the iron ring because she was going to jump and sacrifice herself to save her weight. In order to save the life of the man who is a scientist, the woman was about to sacrifice herself. But the man saw the balloon. He saw the balloon and thought of something. She shouted, we all live together. Let's die together. Then she cut the rope holding the balloon with a knife. The balloons instantly turned into parachutes. They began to descend slowly. Although the descent could not be smooth, but the two of them had no fear. And Till nightfall, the woman woke up from her coma, but she couldn't care less about the physical pain, desperately trying to determine the man's condition. Luckily, the man was fine. In order to celebrate this survival, the two of them hugged each other with excitement. 